Some called Lee an accidental mayor. He assumed office during the recession, a bureaucrat expected to hold office temporarily. But as KPX 5's Wilson Walker explains, Lee would serve nearly seven years in office, presiding over changes that would reshape San Francisco. We tend to forget, but when Mayor Lee was appointed in 2011, he faced tremendous challenges in this city. Mayor for the city and county of San Francisco. And maybe that's the first thing one should say about Edwin Ma Lee's tenure as mayor of San Francisco. The city he leaves behind is in many respects strikingly different than the one he inherited. First of all, the very first thing we're doing is we're taking care of a lot of vacancies that have been there for many decades. And it all started by effectively solving the very problem that vexed every recent mayor before him revitalizing mid-market with a massive tax break aimed at luring tech giants like Twitter. Definitely I want to invite, I want 10 more companies to locate here. It was just the beginning of tremendous success that would come with tremendous cost. Who's city? Our city! Who's city? Our city! The city's technology boom brought jobs and profits along with a wave of evictions. Up with the people! And so Mayor Lee would preside over both an explosion of wealth and an explosion of outrage. His critics often pointing to his reserved, friendly style as being detached from the city's growing pains. And to many people that came across as he didn't emote enough. And sometimes that's what people want from politicians. Uh, Tony Winokur was senior city, advisor to Mayor Lee city. and another San Francisco mayor. This door is wide open now. It's going to happen. The contrast in styles speaks for itself. It wasn't about flash and um, it was about substance. So if you wanted a mayor who was, say, furious about Uber's impact on city traffic, well, this was about as much anger as you were going to get. You want to work with Mayor Lee right now because if you don't, then we will have to make some decisions about decongestizing these streets. Simply put, Ed Lee There's was a, a profoundly understated mayor at a time of profound change in San Francisco. I agree, uh, Wilson. He wasn't a man uh, to jump up and down or a man to take victory laps, but he was a man of action. I mean, he rebuilt uh, the housing authority. We're rebuilding almost all of the public housing uh, in San Francisco, uh, an achievement no other mayor in the United States uh, has been able to accomplish. Mayor Lee's political opponents like to, you know, draw caricatures of him and, and sometimes even vilified him over policy disagreements. And he really was, I, and I, I, you know, this is not, I say it with all sincerity, one of the kindest, most decent men I've ever known or worked with. And that sentiment was written on the faces of city workers who watched today's somber event in the rotunda. It was evident on the faces of stunned supervisors who adjourned their meeting in the late mayor's honor. This was a genuine sense of shock and grief in a city hall that has experienced plenty of both. He has earned our affection because he was one of the sweetest men any of us have ever known, and he will be truly missed. Now, sorting out what makes a political legacy, of course, takes time. That's something San Franciscans can argue about for ages. But Ed Lee spent much of his adult life working in City Hall. And the men and women who were there today very much thought of him as a civil servant, one of their own, if you will. Alan?